Hey guys, what's up? It's Justin, aka Diego. Uh, this video, I'm gonna be covering my my tanking UI, and more so though, I'm gonna be talking about uh, macros and key bindings that I use. I got a request to do to do both, so I'm gonna try to knock uh, kill two birds with one stone. And as always, if you guys have any requests on some videos that you might need uh, some areas of help that you might need in your tanking, uh, just let me know, and I'll try to get them out. Um, uh, so. I'm going to put bubbles uh, using the YouTube interface over most of my add-ons and stuff um, as opposed to just talking about them. Hopefully you guys know about most of them. Uh, just real quick about my, my UI. It only uses uh, 8 megabytes of memory which uh, to me is really low. I was using up to 30 before and I really cut it down with a lot of uh, uh, unnecessary add-ons. Um, I still probably have a couple unnecessary ones but you know I, I like it You know, with the 8 megabytes of use. but. Uh, Another thing I like about add-ons is I like add-ons that come ready to go right out of the box, like that don't require a lot of config. Um, the one that probably costs you know the most time to set up is a grid. Um, it's highly customizable, and you get, you know got a bunch of different options you can do. But I just kind of like add-ons. As soon as you install them, they're ready to go, and you know you can customize them. But I kind of like just having uh, the add-ons be in default. But uh, so that's that's all I'm going to talk about add-ons. Check the bubbles and check the sidebar for for posts i'll try to get some uh links going to uh where you can download some of these at but um so for for key bindings i mean i'll go over macros first key macros that i use um the one that i really like is i tied um avenger shield to my taunt which is really good uh in pve type uh settings because um if you get a mob that gets pulled off you you hit that if your avenger shields up and it'll taunt it and then throw your avenger shield at it with the same you know one button push which is really cool um, I also tied uh, my divine plea and avenging wrath to uh, same um, uh, button so pre pull I pop that and gets my wings going and gets my divine plea some people might prefer to get the divine plea get in there get in melee range get their full stacks of vengeance then pop it but I kinda like just pre pulling with it and front loading all that threat um, that's kind of what paladins are known for anyway, is being able to front load a bunch of threats so DPS can just go nuts and not really have to um, pace their DPS at the beginning. Um, another another one I use, uh, I'm going to post this one on the side. Um, it's, it, it was good um, before Ice Crown Citadel, before they took away our 20% dodge, because paladins were the only tanks that were able to maintain 100% uh, of the time. It's called unhittable. Um, and basically, it's the old BC uncrushable macro, um, just reworked for uh, Wrath. And what it basically shows is um, a boss that's three levels higher than you. Um, it shows his uh, chance to hit you. So you want to hit Holy Shield and hit hit this macro. Um, you can't really see it, but it's uh, on the right bottom right. It's the little red button. But uh, so what it will tell you is it will tell your overall avoidance, including block. So you want to have Holy Shield up, like I said, when you hit that. Um, and if it's 102.4 or higher, uh, any anywhere outside of Ice Crown, basically that means that the worst thing that's going to happen to you on an incoming melee hit is you're going to block it. So, um, which is really good because you could add your block to your effective health because you're always going to block an attack, um, whether it be five times in a row or you dodge six times and then parry and then block, you know, so on and so forth. You won't get hit. You're just going to block attacks. But in Ice Crown, it's subjective, obviously. You still, you're still you not going to reach that in Ice Crown. But you can't hit it in Ice Crown because, obviously, when you walk in there, um, it's going to less, your dodge is going to be 20% less. So you still be able to see how close you are to unhittable in Ice Crown, but it's, it, you won't be unhittable as far as where, where the gear's at right now. I don't know if you ever will be. I haven't done the math yet, but... Those are, basic, those are the basic macros I use. I don't use too many other ones. Um, key bindings. Um, I really got away from just recently clicking and keyboard turning. It's really, uh, if you guys haven't done any Ice Crown stuff, there's a lot of mobile fights for tanks. There's a lot of them. Um, I mean, Lady Death Whisper with the whole phase one where you got to move and pick up ads, whether it's 10 man or 25 man, you know, you got to switch sides if it's 10 man, you know, they constantly respond to different sides and you get Got to pick up loose ads here, pick up loose ads there, and uh, you know Deathbringer Sour Fangs, uh, you know standalone fight, uh, gunship, uh, a little bit. Uh, there's a little, there's a little mobility in that. Um, not so much standing and taking and spanking. Um, Fester Gut is pretty much a tank and spank. Uh, Rot Face, if you're the kite tank, um, a lot of mobility. Obviously, you always have got to be moving. And what it does is, um, for me at least. 
is it really freed up, um, it really picked up me being able to pick up loose ads. Um, it made me a better tank just because if you think about it, if um, an ad gets off of you and you're clicking and keyboard turning, you're clicking your rotation, you have to click the ad, click your ability, and then start doing your rotation on, on the ad as opposed to just being able to click it and then key bind it and while running at the same time and meeting it in the middle. It just for me it made sense and it uh, um, a lot of the really good tanks don't use keyboard turns and uh, clicking. It really will it, I recommend it um, that you really get away from keyboard turning. I like it. It's just a personal preference so do what you want to do. Tank how you want to tank. Um, so what I did is I key binded F to taunt um, and again this is how I do it you might want to do it uh, different ways if you found a better way than how I have it let me know and I'll try it out but uh, I got F key bound to uh, my hand of reckoning my R um, I have oh that's another key bind that, uh, or macro that I use um, I did a mouse over macro for my righteous defense to where I could just put my mouse over a unit frame that has aggro and just hit R and it will taunt off them because you know how that works if you have a friendly target selected it will taunt up to three um, unfriendly targets from it and I have my cube bound to my Avengers shield ability um, E is my consecrate because um, five is kinda out there um, I got one through four is my main four abilities and then five I used to have consecrate but I kinda figured it was I, I like having my hand move the least amount of distance um, I like it not moving a lot because I might get mixed up with where it's at and might hit a wrong ability. So I like do, doing a minimal amount of movement with my left hand. So I try to keep every keybind centered around my W, S, A, and D keys. Um, let's see, X is my sacred shield and Z is my um, bubble wall. So um, those are the really only key bindings that I have. Um, that, so that basically, that's all I really have ever needed. Um, and that's why I bound all those things and I really don't ever have to click too much um, in PvP obviously you might want to bind like your hammer of the righteous or sorry um, the stun I forget yeah HOJ hammer of ju justice there we go <laughs> I only played a paladin for three years and I don't even know the ability names no but um, that's basically it I hope you guys enjoyed me just getting pooped on and fucking Strand of the Ancients. Um, if you guys have any requests, like I said, uh, let me know in comments down below or questions or uh, comments on my my main page. Um, again, if you have, you know, let me know what you thought about this video. I got another couple of videos coming out. Um, comments down below. Uh, troll me as much as you can. No, I'm kidding. Um, thanks, you guys. Have a good one.